Hello, everybody. Uncle Wooly here for some more Silent Hill 3. A little bit late tonight, so uh, apologies about that. Sometimes, you know, life does uh, get in the way of things, right? How is everybody doing? DJ Wife, GG's on first. GG's. Uh, Wimpy, AJ, Jack, Hobo Baggins, good to see you all. My goodness. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully your week is going well. We're almost to uh, Friday, right? Almost. Jack's a little bit closer than all of us to Friday, being uh, Jack's already on Thursday. So GG's there. You got us beat, Jack. You're already on Friday, Junior. Uh, well ahead of the rest of us, as always. Uh, tonight, we're going to sip on a little bit of uh, more Oktoberfest. I'm really jamming on the Oktoberfest beers this year, so I've been trying to find as many as I can. Uh, this one is from Indeed Brewing Company, which I'm a big fan of their beers. Indeed has a pistachio lager. That is, uh, no, it's not a lager. It's a pistachio cream ale. That is fantastic. If you can ever find it, uh, anybody in the States, uh, the pistachio cream ale by Indeed is amazing. So I'm, I'm sure their Oktoberfest is pretty good. Happy to be able to actually join a midweek stream on time. I hope you're feeling well, AJ. I know I saw your tweet there. I saw you were a uh, little, uh, little worn out today. So hope you're uh, kicking back and relaxing and maybe, maybe having, a, you know, a bottle of, uh, or can of the, uh, relaxation juice first time ever pretty pathetic since i know when you yeah no but the thing is i didn't start doing the first thing until semi-recently and i didn't start counting until semi-recently too so you're fine you're fine no worries there um but let's uh... <laughs> Huntress, welcome in. Good to see you. Enjoying uh, North Carolina's cider with Madagascar vanilla. Dude, that sounds so good. Huntress, good to see you. Welcome on in. Just pooped. Just pooped. Are you too pooped to poop, AJ? That's a phrase I like to use when I'm thoroughly worn out from the day. Just too poop to poop. Might make it a little more cozier. <laughs> Excellent. Nice, dude. I'm, uh, if I could stream from bed, uh, no, wait, I wouldn't. <laughs> I was about to say if I could stream from bed, maybe, you know, be nice and cozy, but uh, there's plenty of uh, people that would make that real sus in a hurry, so yeah. We will refrain from that. <laughs> Even Roxy's got the, the bonk eyes going. Rightly so. Rightly so, girl. I agree. Yep. <laughs> Definitely uh, the sus emote exists for reasons. <laughs> uh, that one makes me uncomfortable. That one is very uncomfortable, hobo. Hey, Sink and see. Welcome in. Welcome in. That bonk is not for you. Uh, it's for Hobo Baggins. <laughs> Just getting that beer posted to the Discord, and then we can uh, get right along with uh, some Silent Hill 3. And we're actually going to Silent Hill. At the end of the, the last play session, we actually said we're going to Silent Hill. So we're going to do that. Hey, Chuckles. Welcome in. Welcome in. I love that emote. Love that emote. The the sausage the sausage pug <laughs> just dancing away. I love that a lot. Well, prost, cheers, slancha, salute, whatever uh, cheers is in your uh, favorite language. That is nice. 
And Oktoberfest beers are just so smooth and so easy, and so drinkable. It's tough not to drink too much of those. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head over here, some gameplay. And if I need to adjust audio levels, uh, please let me know if it's too loud, too quiet. Otherwise, the music is a little loud in this uh, opening scene here. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I love this song. Yeah. It goes way too hard for an intro song. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Happy Wednesday to those that have just joined. <laughs> Prost indeed, AJ. Oh, no worries, Huntress. I can't either. <laughs> I got teams. I got teams. I got teams. You need punishing me for being brains. Thank you, Strufty. Thank you, Strufty. Well, we're gonna wait uh, to start the game because we got some beans. Got some beans. Strafty. Hey, that's my beer. <laughs> hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here, Bun. Thanks for raiding in. What timing, indeed. So we, we got two beans we have to eat here. It's a Carolina Reaper for a spicy bean. And our non-spicy bean is yet to be determined. Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. Tonight we're going to be playing uh, more of my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3, if you're interested in that at all. Uh, let's see, buttered popcorn or rotten egg, which both are disgusting because the fake butter flavor is just gross. Bun, oh, thank you, hobo. I was gonna say I need to get a proper shout out for Bun and all the Raiders. Welcome on in. Uh, before I do the beans, before I do the beans, I should introduce the puppy dogs to our Raiders, if you haven't met them before. Jack Russell there is Roxy, she's 14. The elusive Lucy is over in the corner, uh, just off camera. She's five. And uh, Charlie, well, he just was hanging out in his kennel tonight. I don't know. Uh, he was just feeling a little a little moody. So he's uh, <laughs> not in the room with us this evening. But Charlie is our seven-year-old Pomeranian mix. And all of them just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people truly hang out for them. My mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content. <laughs> Welcome on in, Raiders. Uh, huge fan of Silent Hill. Excellent. Um, did you play them all back on original hardware, um, Bun? Or did you uh, um, catch up with them more recently? I played Silent Hill 1 back when, and I revisited the game last Halloween. We played it last year on Halloween. Um, and it was cool because it it really felt like, uh, you know, experiencing pieces of work at different times of your life is really cool to see how your thoughts and beliefs and things have changed and your attitude or reactions to that content have changed. Uh, then I played two in March, April time frame, and now I'm finally playing three. Not the first one, but every single one after. Excellent. Uh, well, if you haven't played the first one, highly recommend doing that. Highly recommend it if it, if you haven't already. Uh, but yes, beans, strufty beans. Welcome on in, Raiders. Good to see you. If you need a raid and run, please take care of your post-stream self-care needs, including hydration and food and all that. I'm not kicking you out by any means, but I just want to make sure you all take care of yourselves, all right? Hey, thank you for the new follow. Strufty, uh, Carolina Reaper, and or... Butter popcorn or rotten egg. Cheers. Uh. Mm. This is the worst. It is, Jack. Uh, frigid virgin, welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry, I got nasty beans in my mouth. Ugh. 
Oh, man. Ugh. Well, huh. Strufty, we'll talk later. <laughs> I don't wish to say foul words on stream, but that bean combination was quite foul. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. And Frigid Virgin, uh, if you have preferred nickname, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome. Um, would Frigid, Frigid work or do you prefer Virgin? Uh, definitely uh, let me know. Let me know. Okay. We're going to play a game tonight, right? I thought so. Until I got assaulted by those beans, Strufty. Until I got bean salted by the legendary Strufty himself. Okay. So we determined that we are, in fact, going to Silent Hill. Uh, oh, uh, FB1. I can say FB1, if that uh, is what you prefer. Welcome on in. Uh, how did you find us? Are you a fan of the series? Um, I just met some Always guy curious. Vincent. Vincent, huh? Vincent. He's a friend of yours, right? Oh. Hobo redeemed Iron Man? Sure. I didn't notice that. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. We'll uh, throw that on once we get into gameplay here. <laughs> what do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. I don't want you to waste that on no gameplay. Hopefully. Help me, Leon! <laughs> Leon! 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 Oh no. Poor Harry. We're gonna need Leon's help, I think. But maybe Heather's got this handled, AJ. <laughs> I think maybe Heather's got this handled. Yeah, the cutoff on the last help is, is perfect. <laughs> What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? Hey, Faye, welcome in. It used to be a Good nice, to quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Hmm. Never did find him. Metagol. I, I don't think I've ever heard of that one, uh, FB. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I don't think it's all rumors. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Ah, oh, the music in these games. It's just so good. Anyway, how about you grew up in Portland? Wrong. Feeling sick? My head's pounding. Like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. Yeah. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. And she failed. She offered up her very own daughter. It's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You see. That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. Mm. She could kill people just by wishing for it. 
Thanks for using the puppy cam there, FB1. Uh, that one is Roxy. She's our 14 year old Jack Russell. That god was killed by a single person. Harry Mason. My father, Harry Mason. What a lad. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too. Yep. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Oh, man. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. So sudden. Heavy cutscene to start stream with. <laughs> I never had a chance to, to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Aww. Let me get some hearts in chat for Harry Mason. I'll have to check that out, Strufty. Yeah, in case anybody doesn't know, yeah, Outer Worlds and its expansions are on uh, deep sale for both PS4 and PS5. And it is the same team that did New Vegas. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I'm going to head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Oh, our, my That's favorite map, place. Right? Yeah. Gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <laughs> You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I've never seen. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. How about we go to a house and you go explore the big hospital, huh? I would say probably, I mean, they don't exist in the same games universe, so they they pulled it off in their own respective, uh, you know, timelines and universes. How about that? <laughs> That's the uh, non-answer answer. That's a bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Are you sure? Because you don't want to soil yourself in the hospital. It's got to be a coincidence, but still, it's pretty weird. Who could have done this? Who could have done this? Hey, good to see you if you're still hanging about here. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday so far. Okay, back into the fog we go. This map is very familiar. Very, very familiar. I wonder if we can get to uh, Heaven's Night, and if so, uh, if it's got the uh, the wonderful theme song again. K-Squared, welcome in. Good to see you. 
Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh man, this fog is very foggy. Wrong button. Um, maybe we just uh, try the katana for now? fog wasn't this thick. Hey, Geekstra, welcome in. Good to see you again. Uh, let's see here. We're going the right way. Yeah, let's try going this way. Okay, we don't have slow enemies. We have very fast enemies. One thing I liked about too, the enemies were pretty slow. Um, I can't remember which one I played, Geekstra. I think I might have played two. Because uh, looking at some gameplay from one, I think I played two. Uh, but I'm definitely interested in playing through that series uh, at some point. Uh, it's kind of like a cross between Final Fantasy and uh, Silent Hill or Resident Evil. Yeah, big big fan of that. Kind of crossover on, on genres. It's basically what you get when Square Enix makes a makes a horror game. Some of the old PS1 thriller games are so underrated. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Please tell me the music plays. No Heaven's Night music? You gotta be kidding me. tourism pamphlet. I had forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. So that's the same exact wording as the one uh, in Silent Hill 2. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, me and my brother have played through all the Silent Hill games. Excellent. That is cool when you can, uh, you can share that with, uh, close family or friends. <clears throat> uh, lock is broken. Okay. <laughs> yes, welcome in. Good to see you, Vis. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Oh, because the confetti. I still need to change that. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. What did I all pick up in there anyway? Because I picked up uh, the health drink. I thought I picked up something else. And maybe I just forgot. That's fine. Yep, that's a wonderful noise. Yeah, if I remember right, the hospital should be... Yeah, there it is. There it is. We found it. 
Oh no. Oh. Hey, that's <laughs> my beer. Hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Melly, welcome in. Raiders, good to see you. I'm just, uh, need to find out what's going on with these crazy nurses here. I'll be right with you. <laughs> Melly, what were you playing? Sky Children of the Light. I think I've watched some gameplay of that. Uh oh. What? <laughs> People. Oh no, people. All right. All right, I think we're safe. Oh my goodness. We're safe. We're safe, we're safe. Thank you for the shout out. I'm guessing that was probably Hobo. Welcome on in, everybody. And uh wanted to get my dailies in. Nice. Uh was also playing a little Hellblade. Ooh. Um, what are you thinking of Hellblade so far? Uh Hellblade is wonderful. Uh, very unnerving, very uh, just crazy game. Um, highly recommend anybody that plays that, play it with headphones. Or an excellent, excellent surround sound system because you'll want to be fully immersed in that game. Uh, the audio design, so well done. Um, and Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before, there's Roxy. She seems to be the only one that wants to say hi to people tonight. <laughs> um, Roxy's a 14-year-old Jack Russell. Uh, Lucy's being elusive. She's also in the room. She's a five-year-old Shih Tzu and also not in the room because he's just uh, wanted to hang out on his own turf is Charlie. He's a seven-year-old uh, Pomeranian mix. But all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. And uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content to these beautiful, uh, beautiful puppy dogs. <clears throat> Probably try to finish it. It's a, it's a surprisingly long game, uh, Melly. So I think you could pull it off in two streams, but it, it might be tough unless you've already done more than one stream of it. Um, it's kind of one of those games that you think you're near the end and depending on how you do on some of the puzzles, <laughs> if you play the puzzles a lot better than me, definitely two streams. <clears throat> but if you, uh, if you play the puzzles like me, then it might be three. <laughs> Those that don't know Melly, definitely go say hello. And if you're looking to experience uh, Hellblade, um, Melly's playing it. So that's uh, definitely a good time to go see what that's all about. And also say hello to Melly when uh, she's live next. Yeah, eight hours is pretty accurate. Um, that's that's not wrong. But yeah, it just depends on, on how things go. Hey, Belle, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Uh, I know I didn't get you and a couple of others on my auto shout out. So we'll give you one of those. We'll give you one of those. Welcome on in everybody that came from Melly's raid. If you need a raid and run, I totally, totally understand. Um, get, uh, that post stream self care that you need, whether it's hydration, food, you name it. Definitely, definitely take care of yourselves. And also, uh, Misty, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome on in. And yeah, the other dogs are just being uh, very elusive tonight. I don't know what's up. But Roxy's Roxy's down to clown. She she likes to hang out. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. Aw. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for those bitties. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you. Here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. 
Stanley Coleman. Wonder if that's a, uh, her dad. We lurking? Hey, Belle. Thanks for the lurk. Please take care. Thanks for the uh, well wishes. Can we get some hearts in chat for Belle? And Hobo Baggins, thank you for the gifted uh, sub to Melly. Melly, enjoy the uh, emotes and the ad free, courtesy of our resident dumpster fire known as Hobo Baggins. Disgusting. I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Oh. Well, that's a way to talk about a doll that somebody made for you. Okay. <laughs> he is goaded. Lock's broken there. Uh -oh. Trying to save ammo, and this is a good way to do it by just uh, using the old katana. There we go. <laughs> I do love the witch hats on the emotes, too. <laughs> I love how uh, Stream Elements does the seasonal hats. Uh, no, don't go unless you uh, unless you need to take care of, uh, you know, the post room stuff. <laughs> but welcome in. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. That's a lot. But this katana has reach. Nice. Okay, how are we doing on, uh, yeah, we need a little bit of, uh, the old health drink here. Nice. Yeah, this game is, uh, a bit frightening. Uh, the, the mobs can be just a bit overwhelming at times. I feel like we need a map. Give me a map. I'm lost. And the sound design is just uh, very unnerving as well. <laughs> hey, enjoy your lurk, Melly. Good to see you. Thanks for the raid. Can we get some hearts in chat for Melly, please? There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was, probably used glue. But why do this in the first place? Ah, there's a key. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. Can't even pull it off. Can I slice it off? Nope. Nope. All right. I love a good katana in a game. I just played Cyberpunk, a game with like dozens of cool guns. And I was like, nah, katana. <laughs> exactly, Strefty. Find yourself a good way to save bullets and uh, you're just set. Again, thank you, uh, Misty and Hobo for the for the uh, generosity there with the uh, biddies and the and the gifted. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane, even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using? If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Now will you take it with you? Oh, wait, I didn't mean to read that again. I meant to check on the doll. Oh, come on. 
it's telling you to take the doll, Heather. Those mantis blades. I guess I probably haven't uh, played enough of uh, Cyberpunk. Back to the hallway we came from, I think? Or is this a different hallway? Oh, wait. Oh, we've been here before, but the uh, the doll and the, the book are gone. Interesting. Okay. It's locked. No map there. What's in here? Save point, that's nice. Hey, there's Brookhaven map. Excellent. Oof, that bright red flash, man. It's gonna live on in my nightmares, I think. One round comrade's hammer is your weapon for mandatory gun use. And I feel like I need to get back into cyberpunk. There are a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. I guess I should just leave it all alone. Or just take it all with you. Do that too, you know. shot kill for everything that sounds pretty tasty i started uh near release and then uh my playstation 4 controller had terrible drift and i just kind of stopped playing i so i need to get back into it food only do not store drugs i wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in there yeah. No drugs in the food fridge, everybody. Okay? It's an order. No drugs in the food fridge. Medical record or something, it's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Oh, it's essentially the golden gun. Excellent. A single round per magazine reloads incredibly slow, but is dev devastatingly explosive. But I like my drugs to be cold. <laughs> um, well, you know, you're going to have to get a, a drug fridge, I guess. Can't put it in the food fridge. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Room S. Hey, <laughs> that's my beer. Hey, that is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Uh, that's a lot of raids tonight. <laughs> and your mother is a fish. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. Let me get you uh, a proper shout out here. How was your stream? How are you doing? What were you playing? You were playing some retro, okay. Uh, what were you getting down with on the retro side of things? Uh oh. Um, what? <laughs> people. <gasps> there oh, no, are people, people. K squared. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, let me see if I can pronounce names correctly here. Uh, Robbie G's, welcome in. Uh, Spike, good to see you, dude. Uh, Blaze Fire, I see ya. Uh, let's see who else is here. Um, see you in a dot. Uh, please correct me if I mispronounced any of your names. Um, and R7A7W7, you're probably going to have to spell out your name for me because I just, I'm terrible. <laughs> terrible with names. Uh, see you, Ni, or... Okay, welcome in, see you, Ni. Uh, thank you for spelling it out for me, too, because I totally uh, uh, I need that from time to time. <laughs> My goodness. Welcome on in, Raiders. If you haven't met my puppy dogs before, only one of them, uh, RAR or R7. Thank you, RAR. I appreciate that. Or RAW, rather. RAW or R7. 
Yeah, definitely feel free to put your preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns. I do want to make sure you all feel welcome here. Robbie is good. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome in. Um, uh, that's uh, our Jack Russell, uh, Roxy. She's 14. Uh, our five-year-old uh, Shih Tzu Lucy is being very elusive. And our seven-year-old uh, Pomeranian mix, Charlie, he's just been uh, MIA tonight. <laughs> So uh, they like to hang out with me when I stream and people definitely hang out for them. And they just, uh, you know, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content. There, people really hang out for the puppy dogs. Uh, but R7, Robbie, uh, Siuni, uh, Spike, your mother is a fish. Good to see you all. Welcome on in. Also good to see you, Blazefire. And you love Silent Hill. Well, I love Silent Hill too, um, as well. I mean... I do love Silent Hill 2, but I love Silent Hill as well. Uh, and this is my first playthrough of three. Thank you for those new follows too, by the way. Um, and your mother is a fish. Um, if you need to raid and run, I totally understand. Make sure you take care of those post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, food, or just a break from the screens. I'm not kicking anybody out by any means, but I just want to make sure you take care of yourselves, okay? Heat has been more tolerable today, so that immediately approved my mood. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Uh, it was a little chilly this morning, Spike. Um, it was roughly 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so it was below zero on the Celsius scale this morning when I woke up. So a little chilly, but it got up to uh, above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I forget what the conversion on that is for Celsius. Let's see, 60 F to C, that's like 15 and a half degrees Celsius, so it was a pretty nice day. Um, this afternoon but yeah it was just a little bit chilly this morning <laughs> welcome on in everybody welcome on in 37 degree run this morning that is chilly uh temperature for a run strefty that is a chilly run indeed um uh, but welcome in welcome in good to see you all uh, we're going to continue with some gameplay here, uh, but if I missed anybody's chat messages there uh, feel free to post it again if I missed you and uh, yeah because I, I read slow sometimes so uh, well a lot of the time so <laughs> i try to keep up but if i miss you feel free to post it again uh room s12 presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations emotional instability obsessive ideas suspect mild schizophrenia will continue observation basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice however according to reports becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Room S7, usually passive and cowardly, but also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Okay. So we found out some stuff, and we have a map now, too, which is uh, pretty cool. We can actually see where we've been, which is, you know, in the maze of these games is actually pretty nice. Uh, so we can go check out these restrooms. Uh, that one's broken. Let's check out the other restroom here. Uh, restrooms are usually not the best thing to be checking out in Silent Hill anyway. They've been reading my work bio. Which one? Um, K squared. The uh, the Leonard one or the Stanley one or or both. All right, that's all sectioned off there. A bit of both. A bit of both. <laughs> All right. So we need to go. Oh, there's some uh, stuff in there we haven't checked out. OK, can't go in there either. Oh, we could do the stairs, except that's locked, too. It's uh, locked as well. So we need to check out this door. All right. 
So, so far we've established we can't really go anywhere in this hospital yet. Yeah, let's go back to the room that had something in it. Right, that's just the key. So we need like a solvent or something. Oh, so now maybe we can go back and check on those chemicals in the, uh, that save room. And there was a bunch of nurses we fought in here. Okay, good. I was hoping they wouldn't uh, have respawned because that was a bit of a nightmare. Anybody who's just joined us from the raids, either from uh, Your Mother is a Fish's raid to uh, Melly's raid or Bun's raid, um, if you are a fan of these games, which one is your favorite? Um, and also, if you care to say why. And if not, uh, what's your favorite horror movie or favorite scary, uh, scary game to play? If you're into that kind of thing. Because it's definitely the season for it. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in there that can uh, get that key off the wall. Well, I'm going to save again. Just in case. You never know. You never know. Haven't found Leonard yet. Okay, so that's our exit. Silent Hill 2 is my favorite so far. 2 is great. Um, do you have a preferred nickname? Do you do you go by Fish, or do you have another nickname that you like to go by? Um, I can definitely say your mother is a fish <laughs> every time I uh, Fish works. Okay. Uh, thank you. It kind of just rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. Horror game is Luigi's Mansion is the exact right amount of scary for me to still be able to sleep afterward. That is fair, Strupty. That is absolutely fair. Um, let's see here. Turned into the lounge. Maybe the visitor's room again. It's back in this hallway here. Nope. I didn't go far enough to go this way. Oh, too far now. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've done this. It's just a flower pot, nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Okay. I feel like, and I don't know if anybody else felt this way about this game, is the hitboxes uh, for some of these things, on the, especially the items, is just uh, a bit off. Uh, I loved Silent Hill 2. Um, it's kind of tough. There's so much I loved about 2, but I'm so nostalgic for 1. Um, so I kind of have just like, they're kind of a, a tie for me on, on both those games. But uh, two is just an amazing game. The soundtrack, um, the characters, the stories behind them. I absolutely love two. Not a fan of horror genre in general because I don't get scared easily because I feel like it's a huge f yeah like haunting of hill house series uh story was really good have you checked out um I don't know if you have Netflix Robbie but the uh cabinet of curiosities uh it's a new show um from uh, Guillermo del Toro and that is amazing and it's it's got a good blend of like suspense and weirdness and uh, uh, all of that. Uh, definitely check it out. 
it's uh it's pretty cool uh we've been enjoying it uh a lot so far we've seen all but the last episode we're hoping to watch that maybe maybe tomorrow maybe there's something else in here that i'm just missing so we're just going to give it the old uh mash the uh x button as we go around the room here be careful not to open the door Solid strat, right, Hegel? How's it going, dude? Happy Wednesday. Uh, Hegel was streaming some Final Fantasy VII Remake today, and he's wandering about the uh, the Shinra building now. Very good game. I absolutely loved uh, Seven Remake, and very, very excited for Rebirth. I don't like how these uh, corpses haven't left since uh, disposing of them. Ooh, okay. How how did uh, the last few innings go? I'm definitely not doing my entire stream again offline to get a single item. No. I would never accuse you of such a thing. They lost by one. That sounds like the twins. <laughs> that sounds like the twins. All right. All right. And remember, uh, food only. No drugs in the uh, food fridge. Okay. That one's locked. That one's broken. Can we turn the light switch on? Oh, okay. What are you looking at there, Heather? She's looking at something. Well, what about in the desk? Or is it she's just looking at that medical record? Okay. Well, we've done that before, though. Okay, nothing useful there. Okay, she's ambivalent to everything. Postseason wins were had, so that's true. You always got to celebrate those. And I did get to a Twins game this summer, so that was that was fun. There's nothing like live baseball, you know. For me, I could kind of care less if I'm watching it on TV. Or something like that. Um, but when you go in person, it's just so much more fun. The roar of the crowd. You get some ballpark food and a cold beer. And you get to sit outside on a nice summer afternoon or evening. Yeah. I agree with you, Hegel. Yeah, postseason is when it all starts to matter, right? when it gets interesting. <clears throat> I might take a hint from somebody if uh, anybody wants to give me like a riddle or something of where to go. I guess I haven't checked this elevator over here. It's the only thing I haven't really checked. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's try floor two before we go to basement. You never want to go to the basement right away. Yes, yes. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to kindly say, get out of here. <laughs> go get some sleep, Misty. <laughs> Have a great night. Can we get some hearts in chat for Misty, please? And uh, if you want to go say hello to her puppy dog, Baloo, definitely do that next time she's live. Uh, because Balu is so cute. Please take care. Have a wonderful night. Good to see you. Get your rest. Get some sleeps. It's not a request. It's an order. Get get plenty of good sleeps, all right? <laughs> good to see you. Uh, 
That goes for everybody here too. Make sure you're getting your getting your rest. Locks broken. Like, is there anything we can go into here? Shotgun shells, nice. Nail polish remover, hey, perfume. Well, I bet that nail polish remover is how we get that key. Yes, I I agree. Uh, she is just so entertaining to just listen to. Completely agree with you, Struffy. Uh, the lock is broken. What do we got here? You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. And his creepy doll. I kind of wish they gave her a different dialogue or, or thoughts for the doll uh, each time she sees it. Typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. I better, uh, I'm going to take myself a screenshot. Hopefully I don't break stream doing this. All right. I'm going to put that to the side here just so I can remember that. First is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Okay, so this is a number riddle. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay. So I'm guessing... Okay, that's locked. Okay. Okay, let's... uh. Let's workshop this here. First is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is Sandy Coco resubbing for seven months. <laughs> Welcome in, Sandy. Good to see you. Thank you for the resub. Let's get some hearts in chat for Sandy Coco. Good to see you. Let me give you one of those proper proper shouts there we go there we go <laughs> welcome on in no i was uh i was reading the uh the clue that we had so the clue that we got was the first is larger than the second the second twice the third third is smaller than the fourth the fourth is half the first but maybe i need to reread uh that last bit Two are not in the right row, okay. Three are not in the top row. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Okay, so there's no repeats. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay, one of the numbers is the final key, which means uh, I think nine or zero. Right? I agree, Strupty. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. And one is the final key. One is larger than the second. And 
the second is twice the third. Okay. The fourth is half the first. Okay, I've already messed up. <laughs> All right. So one of them needs to be nine. Third is smaller than the fourth. So the fourth has to be nine. So I wonder if I can work backwards from there. No, the fourth can't be that. My goodness, I need to read I need to read that second clue again. Three are not in the top row. Yeah, or I could type in a chat too, or somebody wouldn't mind. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. So we have one number in the top row. <laughs> yeah, this is where I'm struggling. Second is twice the third. Uh, first page of clues. So it's the first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, third smaller than the fourth. Fourth is half the first. But one of them has to be the final key, unless it's the final key up here. And three of them aren't in the top row. Um, let me see if I can pull this uh, up on the screen. Bear with me a sec. Uh, go here and let me throw my display capture up there there you go every day I'm puzzling <laughs> there we go there's the first clue first is larger than the second the second twice the third Third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. I feel like that like gentle, like heartbeat kind of pounding in the background is kind of like impending too. Okay. So two of them can't be in the right row, and three of them can't be up here. And definitely don't spell out the answer for me. I want to try to get this on my own, too. And one of them is the final key, which that one doesn't make any sense. Drupti's got it, okay. So what if I do nine, eight, uh, third is smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Half of nine would be not right. No, 
I messed it up. Yeah, I know. That's the part that's hitting my brain, Strefty. First is larger than the second, so I need something that's haveable. I'm wondering about six for one. Second is twice the third. Fourth is half the first. Yeah. So if I six. Four. So what if one is eight? Two is six. Three is three. And four is four. Come on. There we go. <laughs> See, the part I don't get, though, is... Uh, one oh, I'm sorry, what's this? Seven contiguous segments giving me <laughs> longest road and a sweet <laughs> 10 points for the win. A uh, booyah. booyah! Okay, I get it now. One is the final key, meaning it's the largest number. So your first, yeah. Okay, I get it now. And your reward? Nurses with swinging pipes. <laughs> of this game, I tell you what. Lock is broken. Got our trusty map. Good to go. Sandy, thank you again so very, very much for that resub. That is much, much appreciated. For seven entire months. I can't believe that. There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background, unknown. Name, age, unknown. Not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Uh, you probably should contact the police, but uh, yeah, sure. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Well, can you can you read the hand? The start time is my key. Ugh. Tattoo on his foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. That's a long tattoo for a foot. Medical textbooks, none of it looks useful. I know it seems important because Heather's in her early teens. And is quite ambivalent to things. Yeah, let's just uh, check these doors as we go. I'm always ready. 
Oh no. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest? Since I can't cut it out or cut it open to show you my heart, I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley, you gotta chill it, dude. Where's that? What do we have? Eight? Six? Three, four? Let me in. Seven, or no, six, 43. Yeah, I feel like uh, that dude in that bag is going to be uh, out. I guess it wasn't a phone, uh, Hagel. It was a, an alarm clock. But we can still blame telemarketers. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Um, examination room is where it was at. We're trying to get a hold of you about your car's extended student loans. If you do not reply within beep, 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 beep. <laughs> You wouldn't download a car student loan, would you? The start time is my key. Okay. You wouldn't download a hoagie sandwich. Yeah, nobody wants that re-download, Hegel. Nobody wants that. All right, so there were other marks on here. Unless that's a six and a three. The six is also that uh, the hand on the clock. Pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling too. <laughs> Putting mine on LimeWire is a bad copy of Through the Glass. <laughs> Excellent. And hopefully these nurses are the ones that download Okay, that's enough of that. Not that I would know what that sounds like because I never committed a crime. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Hagel. <laughs> Welcome in, Panda. Good to see you. Good to see you. As you can see, my bot still uh, doesn't understand Japanese. But good to see you, Panda. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. Happy Thursday, if it's already Thursday for you. I guess I'm not familiar with what time zone you're in. Uh, that was worth it for the uh, first aid that I needed to use afterward? Question mark? Are you a fan of the series, uh, Panda? Oh, 
someone else figured out that they have to do it manually and it works. Um, hmm. So if I do luck panda, I think we did this last time though, and it still didn't work. I, it's because of how my bot is handling the the text. I think that's what's going on here. Um. <laughs> I need to read that clue on his arm again. The start time mm -hmm. is my key. Mm -hmm. Wait, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. I need to go four. Yeah, I think uh, it pulls up the correct information for you, just not the right the right link. So the start time was six, or is it zero? Is it zero, or it was the long hand, and maybe it's a short hand on the three? So maybe 330? Or is it 630? Or 615? No. Getting the sleepies. Oh, they're taking over, Sandy. Have a good night. Good to see you. Enjoy your rest. Uh, or do we do 6.43? Oh, yeah, or 42. So we just need to do exactly what was on there and just do it four digits instead of, because I was just thinking of the single digit, so. All the hearts and chat for Sandy. Please take care. Have a good rest. Uh, let's see here. No elevator. Okay. So we've got the camera. We don't know what we need it for yet. But what we can do is go use the nail polish on the first floor. This is the part that I don't like is when you go back into areas that you've been before and things are there. <laughs> All right, how are we doing on health? Let's even that back out again. Where is it? It's definitely back here. Yep. Hello. Oh, she got a gun. That was not kind. Was not very nurse like. I did not expect the gun. I did not expect that. Um, let's see here. Map. We need to go back to the elevator. Yeah, I was expecting, you know, just like a knife or a pipe or something. I didn't expect her to, you know. Pull out the handgun and give it that like street flare, you know, like that aim style that's just not quite precise, you know, just the hand tilted to the side a little bit. With that attitude of, uh, you know, I keep that thing on me. felt uh, very insecure for my life. Uh, nail 
nail polish. Stairwell key, very nice. Oh, go get the charge, hobo. Good luck for your phone. Enjoy the lurk. Don't die on us now. got to be more oh no it's just that one okay yeah i think we should do a save since we're right by a save spot here too Hegel, if you haven't tried uh, Indeed's Oktoberfest this year yet, uh, definitely do it. It's a tasty one. I've just been really leaning into the Oktoberfest this year. And I'm not regretting it one bit. Why did I go to the basement? Ugh. Ugh. I give anybody else, like, serious goosebumps? Oh, just casually. A submachine gun laying on the floor. I mean, I'm glad the elevator worked for them. At least I hope it did, despite all the blood. Ugh, no. That is sus. But I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. It is something. Uh, very well done. Uh, it elicits a lot of emotions, and most of them are uh, not good. <laughs> the Joe Bros really, uh, really drained the energy last night, AJ. Definitely get some rest, dude. Always good to see you. Glad you could stop by tonight. Okay, there, so there's the second floor. So we've done that already. Oh, don't like that noise. Okay, it's locked. Does it have the same key as the other one? What was it, eight? Six, three, four? Nope. It's different. Vibing with my beers, not in my head. Excellent, dude. That's what uh, good concert's all about. But definitely uh, have a great night if you're on your way out and get some good rest. And uh, hope to see you real soon, dude. Uh, please, please, please take care. Hearts and chat for AJ. Give uh, Caddy, Sophie, and... Emma, all our best. It's hard not to say Emmy because, like, you know, just all the E's. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I said Emma and not Emmy because it just, uh, it's too easy to say Caddy Sophie. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We'll get some sleep. Hey, dude, I appreciate that. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your rest. Hearts in chat for AJ. Please take care, dude. Flowing freely, your ebony hair, like the night sky, 
scattering fragrance, my heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it, your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. And it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. So it's interesting because um, I wonder if this is uh, S. Yeah. So we need to check S12 and S7 for sure. Oh, we can do a puppy treat. We can do the puppy treat. It's interesting that he said uh, ebony. That one got me. <laughs> I think I think it's just because how small the rooms were. I didn't expect it. Oh my lord, that one got me. <laughs> that one got me big time. We can do a puppy treat. I think we should. We need. Uh... I keep doing this too. Do you want full screen like this puppy treat, or do you want the other view where it's kind of like takes up the whole gameplay? Get some get some feedback from you guys. So like this. I got teams. I got teams. I got teams. You need me. Or we could uh, do the puppy treat like that. Either way works for me. Hagel, I'll get the bean, but My they need their treat beans! first. <laughs> Can double bean tonight. Hagel Strufty hit me with the Carolina Reaper rotten egg combo. And uh that was that was not a good time. Oh, Lucy, we had three raids. You couldn't say hi to any of our raiders, but now you're awake for the treat. That's just the way it is. Alright. Alright. Puppy treat time, puppy treat time. Oh, rock. Are you clumsy? Are you clumsy? Come on. Here you go. Sit. Here. Oh. Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> uh, Lucy grabbed it. Okay. Lucy, come here. Since you didn't have to earn yours, come here. Come here, Lucy. Lucy, come here. Sit. Okay. Good girl. One more time. Good girl. And it goes to Roxy. Yeah. Because Roxy earned hers and you stole it. <laughs> Poor Roxy. She dropped it and Lucy was right there. <laughs> uh, oh, of course. When I dropped over to that scene, we lost the music. There we go. Silly, silly. Silly, silly dogs. My goodness. Okay, beans, Hegel. Let's uh, we'll spin for the regular bean first. It is... Yeah, I do have one of those. Uh, birthday cake or dirty dish water. I need to order some more of the regular beans. I'm almost out. Dog treats are up 33% this season. <laughs> that they are. Uh, it says Sriracha, but it's probably going to end up being a Reaper. See, I can't tell the difference on some of these because it doesn't look like it has the black dots on it. But then it's just waiting in disguise. So it's either going to be Sriracha birthday cake or... Uh, Hey, Sriracha dishwater. That's my beer. <laughs> hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Romo dude, good to see you. How was Liza P? How was your stream? Uh, Daisy Stars, welcome in. Royal Aqua, good to see a fellow Treppy. Good to see you too. Welcome on in. Good to see you. 
How are things going? Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. We just had a puppy treat, so there's the puppy cam, so we can introduce you to the puppy dogs if you haven't met them before. The little floof, just barely in the right corner there, is Lucy. She's a five-year-old Shih Tzu. Uh, the one on the left there is Roxy. She's a 14-year-old Jack Russell. And um, Charlie, our new addition, the seven-year-old Pomeranian mix, he's a little absent from the stream room tonight. He's being uh, very elusive. Uh, but maybe he'll make an appearance later. <laughs> but anyway, they're just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be, so people really hang out for them. I'm, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just the side content for the channel, really. <laughs> Love the puppers and Silent Hill 3 and your awesome beard. Uh, no you, Romo. No you. Welcome on in. Bloodstained Wings, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, any of the Raiders, if you have preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Also, uh, if any of you need to do the Raiden run, I totally, totally understand. Please take care of those uh, post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, uh, food, any of that stuff, um, because that's really, really important. Make sure you take care of yourselves. I'm not kicking you out. You can stay for as, as long as you want. You're always welcome. Uh, but we got some beans. So sriracha and or birthday cake or dirty dish ones. And Lucy decides now is the time for the uh, <laughs> the chew toy. Uh, Silly Millie Tiger, welcome in. Cheers with the beans from Hegel, courtesy of Hegel. Oh. It is sriracha, dirty dish water. Oh, that's something else. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you get some better tasting food than what I just ate with those beans, Romo Dude. Hearts and chat for Romo Dude. Thank you for the raid, my friend. Big cheers to you. Liza P, very fun. Addicted already. Today was an extra stream since I just needed more. Sometimes you just need that, right? Cheers, dude. Thank you for the raid. Mm-hmm. That bean is stuck in there good. And Silly Millie, uh, you found me on recommendation. Excellent. Well, thank you. It is good to see you. And likewise with our raiders, if you have a preferred nickname, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. It is very nice to meet you. Uh, now that we got the dog treat and the beans out of the way, I think we can hop on back for the, uh, little bit of gameplay, right? Hmm. If I can get this stinking bean out of my teeth. <laughs> hey, Gold, do you run into that at all? Memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours in confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy. No longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Wow. So they just locked them in here then. Have to call it late. Start combined with early morning for me tomorrow. Destructi. Take care, my friend. It is always good to see you, even if it's for... Uh, 30 seconds. Uh, but you spent more than that with us tonight, and I appreciate that, my friend. Please take care. Can we get some hearts in chat for Shrufty? And Shrufty is now streaming. So uh, if you want to say hello to Shrufty when he's live, uh, he is on at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. And uh, you can find him right here. Unless our good friend Mattis Dog is, uh, you know, not live, then Shrufty uh, likes to do uh, that time slot too. So I am a fluffy tiger who is silly. The answer you're looking for, she, her, that's the pronouns. Excellent. Um, so does, does Millie work? Uh, or do you like tiger for a nickname? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm getting that correct. Um, but welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Uh, and have a good night, Shrefty. Please take care, dude. Get that good rest. 
Get the good sleeps. Uh, oh, we haven't checked the storeroom up here. Hey, save point. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. And Millie, uh, which uh, Silent Hill games have you played, if any? Uh, which ones are your favorite? I always like to uh, ask people about that kind of thing. And feel free to share uh, what other kind of games you're into. We play, uh, right now we're playing uh, Resident Evil 4 on Mondays, uh, Silent Hill 3 on Wednesdays. And then Fridays I stream over on YouTube um, doing Final Fantasy 16. Always do Final Fantasy games on Fridays. And then um, uh, in November we'll go back to the other games we're playing on Monday and Wednesday. And that's uh, Elden Ring on Mondays and Wednesday with uh, Wind Waker, uh, The Legend of Zelda. So either way, Silly Millie or Silly Tiger, Tiger, Silly, or Millie. So any combination, it sounds like. Well, welcome in. It's nice to meet you. Um, Heather, my most sacred lover, I am always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient, too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. Oh, she's not talking about the doll. <laughs> um, man, these uh, these letters uh, keep getting creepier and creepier. Creepier and creepier, I'd say. All right. Yeah, let's check uh, this day room here. Fighter of the night room, ah, champion of the sun, master of karate and friendship for everyone. I said day room, ah, fighter of the night room, ah, sorry, <laughs> I might be a fan of uh, Always Sunny. Uh, send you a mannequin for your birthday? Please don't. Please do not do that, Hegel. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Ugh. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Apex, Destiny, Far Cry. Okay, Far Cry Primal, rather. Elden Ring, Call of Duty Cold War, Warframe, VR Chat, Clone Hero. That's a lot of games, my goodness. Um, Golf with Friends, Beat Saber, Minecraft, Rocket League, Dead by Daylight, Stray, Plasmo, or is that Phasmo? Uh, Hide and Seek, Mortal Kombat, Mario Games, Zelda Games, uh, Wizard Game, Fortnite, Fallout, Fall Guys, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in Resident Evil, are those the remakes by chance? And also, have you played Mortal Kombat 1 yet? Don't like that. Don't like that. Is there anything up here I can use other than death? Some machine gun bullets. That's nice. Yeah, let's just get out of there. Let's just get out of there. Okay, so I need the code to get through that door.
I wonder. It was telling me, um... The rooms we need to go to are 7 and 12, right? So maybe something S, maybe that would be like a 5. 7, 1, 2. Oop. 5. 7, 1. Come on. 2. No. Ooh, oh boy. I got some right here. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Pilgore, thanks for the beer. Uh, haven't played the remake Resident Evil just yet. Okay. Um, so I take it you played the originals then? Um, the Resident Evil, the remake for the first one is very, very good. Highly recommend that. Um... Okay. Is this a stairwell? No, this was this area. Um, <laughs> oh, you play the originals. Okay. Yeah, those are really good. I'm a big fan of uh, the originals. The remakes are pretty decent. I'd say my favorite of the remakes that I've played all the way through so far would be two. Um, or or one. One is very, very good. Um, but I still have to get through four. I haven't got through all the way through the remake of four yet. Play the original four back on PlayStation 2. Anything on this floor I haven't been to? Okay, we've already been in there. Can't get in there. We can go this way. Lock off? Nope. Okay. So there's probably something with that roof. Oh, elevator control room. I missed the doorway there. Okay, let's go back to the roof then. Let's go back up there. That's a, that's a lot of gameplay per day. Especially all of those games. Do you have like a certain one you like to play like a certain day of the week or just kind of alternate between those? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can we get through this door? What? Okay. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Oh my lord. I don't like, they kind of sound like dragons almost. You lost a bet with your friends to play Apex for 24? I couldn't do that. I'm so bad at Apex or any, uh, any FPS really. I'm just not good at them. I enjoy playing with friends from time to time just for the com camaraderie, but uh, I'm just not good at uh, FPS games. You know, I did get that perfume. I don't know what that's for. But they did say there was something down here, right? in the parking garage.
can't squeeze through and can't move the shell. Wonder. Oh, the camera. Nice. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. One, five, two, one. Oh, we have our uh, code. Sweet. Um, so I have on the roster for this weekend, Pilgor, I have a friend coming over. We're going to do a scary movie marathon. And the ones we're guaranteed going to watch are, uh, and maybe I talked about this last time we talked, uh, but for sure, Terrifier 1 and 2. And then we plan to watch Storm of the Century, because I remember, it's been years since I've watched it, but I remember back in the day, uh, Storm of the Century absolutely terrified me. It's a Stephen King book that was turned into a, a miniseries. And it's on Hulu. Um, one, five, two, one. Wait, that wasn't it? Um, so we're going to at least do those ones. And then he hasn't seen any of Cabinet of Curiosities. So we're going to watch, I'm going to watch, uh, rewatch some of those. He's going to watch it for the first time. Um, it's one, five, two, one, right? Or is that a six? Is that a six? Just a weird six. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to kind of just, you know, see uh, what other movies are out there. Um, and I've heard, what is it, Smile? Is that another one that's new? If you got any recommendations, I'm definitely open to them, uh, Pilgor. So we're going to see how much, uh, how much horror we can fit into uh, one weekend. Pearl, the prequel to X. Okay, I'm trying to think. The clock's been broken, but otherwise no big deal. Oh, was this uh, Maria? The magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. Uh, what exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it, 
I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. I feel like I've heard that name before. Um, yeah, so what? Uh, tell me more about X. Maybe I've seen that before, Pilgore. Because if not, I might have to uh, might have to watch both of them. And if so, um, which one? Which one um, should I watch first then? Um, sorry if I missed a message there. Um, can I ask? Where was that at? You have death count on top of your head. Is that for, yeah, so that's the, the death count for tonight's stream. And if you're ever curious on my current death count for the game itself, you can do exclamation deaths and it'll show you how many deaths I've had for the current game I'm playing. And then since I started keeping track on the channel, I've had uh, 4,760 uh, deaths. Uh, A24 film with Mia Goth, where they... Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, I definitely haven't seen that. Uh, Pilgore. And so what order would you recommend watching them in? Uh, more beef jerky for the beasts. Wait, I need to go to S7, right? Wonder what's in there. Is the S club in here? S club. Oh, the doll's broken. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. Welcome in, Prince Leo. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Heather, my Stanley Coleman. <laughs> They are silent after all, indeed. Oh, no. And yes, excellent cosplay, uh, Prince Leo. For those unaware, uh, Prince Leo. Oh, I just got shot. I just got shot. Uh, Prince Leo did an excellent cosplay of, uh, from uh, The Crow. S Club is going to show you how, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of the one with the gun first. Get the other one. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh, yeah, that definitely did not look like a winged uh, uh, cosplay at all. I mean, no, <laughs> no pun intended for it being a crow cosplay, but. Uh, yeah, it looked really, really good. Thanks for the new follow, by the way. Much appreciated. Ain't no party like an S-Club party, Hegel. Hello? Claudia. 
No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. No. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. That's the guy we're looking for. <laughs> Perfect timing. Sky Pacer. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? Hmm? I'm sorry. But... She... She killed my father. Yeah? She's a fool. Hopefully he obtained that seal humanely. End of the hall on the second floor. Perfect timing on those biddies there, Sky Pacer. The awkward silence between those two on the phone and then just the Wilhelm scream biddies. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect timing. Uh, journey's going well, Prince Leo. Got a little bit stuck at the beginning of the hospital, but... Uh, I think we're we're making our way. Oh, and the Zap Brannigan emote too. My goodness, you got it going on tonight, Sky Pacer. You got it going on tonight. How's your Wednesday? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, let's see here. Second floor, end of the hall. Oh, well, we better go check it out. There's probably stuff in here that wants to kill me. I mean, there's always stuff in here that wants to kill me. Um, you know what we should do? Anytime this game kind of gives you a clear and present path forward, uh, that's when you should probably save. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's definitely do that. Yeah, having a great night. Oh, you played some uh, some of the new Assassin's Creed. How is it so far? Uh, I will admit, I've uh, I haven't played a single Assassin's Creed game since I played the original on uh, on Xbox 360. <laughs> uh, but I should kind of remedy that at some point. Ezio trilogy is solid. Is that the uh, the first three, Hegel? That's how much I've I've forgotten as far as the the lore of the series. Ooh. yeah, we're definitely in the Silent Hill side of things now. 
like that. Yeah, first playthrough is played safe. Yeah. <laughs> Save a bunch of times. It's two plus two more. Okay. That's good to know, Hegel. Oh, it's your first Assassin's Creed game, Sky Pacer. That's cool. Welcome in, Joe and Tay. Good to see you. Uh, is two Brotherhood and Revelation. Okay. So that's where the two plus two more. Uh, oh. That camera angle means run. Nope, and not that way. That's a dead end. Hopefully we don't meet our dead end. It's going well so far. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Probably not as much as I enjoyed 2. Uh, there's been some weird, like, some of the hitboxes in this game. Really weird. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be my save point. Oh. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? Okay. Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me in the hellish hospital. She did get a little weird, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Heather's okay. Like, she's a little, you know... To me, she seems, like, ambivalent about a lot of the things um, that she interacts with. Um, but I, I think they're, they've done a good job with it, at least from the bits I've played so far. Not a fan of that. Can we please not with that? Ugh. Yeah, get me out of here, please. I hate that noise. I hate that noise. Especially when I can't see very well. Alright, let me see my ammo here. 76 handgun, 9 shotgun, 32 submachine gun. We don't even have a stun gun, so we just had batteries. Uh, you could tell me anything about her character and I would just nod. <laughs> That's fair. Um, what is... Oh! Apparently I can just fall to my death. I don't know how I haven't fallen to my death all game then, but... There's a first. <laughs> That's why we save, right? Too bad that puts us back on third floor. Uh, no, not quite. Puts us back in this nonsense. Come on, keep going. Oh, 
yeah, it's this whole check this way, check that way. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Right? It's the classic uh old game load save have to repeat a lot of the game. Thank you for the oh no there, Joe and Tim. Um, I don't have that, but I can, I can give you, uh, Roblox. <laughs> See, I wish that was a save point, but it's not. We watched X tonight. Uh, yeah, um, Pilgore was uh, just in chat. Pilgore just watched uh, Pearl, which is the uh, the prequel to that. Um, so I, I heard that I need to add those movies to my my horror movie marathon. I'm I'm doing this weekend. Are you getting all those scratches, rocks? Pump puppy dog. And if anybody hasn't seen Barbarian yet, um, I watched that last uh, spooky season. Uh, Barbarian is pretty crazy too. Okay. We didn't fall off the ledge that time. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall, Heather. We've replayed too much of this game to fall now. <laughs> yeah, Barbarian is excellent. I uh, highly recommend that movie. Well, not a fan of that noise. Oh, the crawlies again. I hate these. This is creepy. Oh, that is so weird that you can see it on that side. Oh, but you, oh, that I hate that. Very rarely do you initiate the horror movies. Yeah, this time of year, it's just uh, gets to be the season, you know. Would have liked a little deeper storyline in that. It was pretty shallow, and there was really only one character in the movie that you care about. Okay. Oh no. Uh uh, nope. Oh no, I'm stuck in here. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I need to shoot. Is 
But anyway. Just heard a blasting. <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. place was uh, great, but the second one was kind of a flop. Uh, this one's pretty obtuse. I mean, most Silent Hill games are pretty obtuse. Enjoy your sleep, Hagel. Thanks for the lurk. Um, dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this, and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. Rocky, do you need a break, puppy dog? Rock. Yeah, I think we might uh, psycho Gorman yet. No, I haven't, Phil Gorman. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a bucket of butts, you say, Hagel? <laughs> Enjoy your sleep, dude. Good to see you. Thanks for the lurk. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick little break. Uh, these dogs need some OUT time. So please take this time to get a, a refill on your refreshment, some snacks, anything you need, and we'll be back in about five minutes or so. Big cheers. They're huge. They're hard. Uh, please don't put that out of context. Uh, oh, did we get Praise the Sun? Yes. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right. Um, we gotta switch out. I think bowing, we can switch that out. Oh, thanks for new follow, too. That is much, much appreciated. All right, let's uh, do this. And let's get rid of. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There's a the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> a smooth criminal. Because that's not the real Spider Man. We need a photo here of the real Spider Man. too much. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Let's do that one. And we'll get a screenshot of the real spider. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I want to get him real close and switch over to that. Uh, Raven Bee? No, 
No way. No, I didn't heal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What did I do? Played myself. from this game for quotes and I need the the wow just wow <laughs> Big uh, uwu senpai energy there, uh, Barney. Yeah. Oh! Something tells me I'm doing this the wrong way. Nope, nope. Shoot. And then it's going to go in the garbage. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 100 times, a million times, as many times as I can say yes, absolutely, yes. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome on back, everybody. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a good break. Lucy found the squeak toy again. Get it, Lucy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, you get it. Go get it. Get it, Lucy. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh just the blood dripping uh background noise is, is strange. <laughs> uh Charlie is in the room. He's just over by my feet right now. Uh, so hopefully he goes and lays in his bed at some point. And Roxy uh was just busy hanging out with DJ wife. So uh she's not in the room currently, but she will be in a little bit. All right. Lucy. She loves that toy, man. I tell you. All right, that's not the way I want to go, I think. Yeah, I need to go this way. But what is that? I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Ugh. Yeah. It's weird. What is up with the... Oh, don't want to go that way. Yeah, and maybe need to repair my controller or something because it was just doing weird stuff. Danger, May. 
Look at you. You beautiful human. Thank you for that resub at 27 months. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully I can get my controller to stop doing this weird stuff. Yes, and for those unfamiliar, that uh, Danger Maid does stream and has been streaming quite a bit, so uh, definitely go say hello next time uh, the Danger Zone is activated. Let me go ahead and give you one of the Twitch proper ones. Uh, doing well, doing well. Um, just uh, trying to get through Silent Hill here, and it's uh, in a bit of a interesting spell. This the bloodletting room again? Nope. Oh, safe. That I've been needing. I've been needing that save point. Here we go. There we go. Uh, you should absolutely start Little Nightmares. That is an amazing game. Uh, <laughs> maybe we can get to the elevator. Although there is stairs over on that side, I think. At least it was showing it by where the elevator was at. Because I don't really want to go back in here with those things. That's a drop off. There's the elevator. So supposedly this is stairs. Nope. That's death. Highway to the danger zone. Danger zone. <laughs> Lucy, my goodness, dog. She's all about that chew toy. Get Lana. It. Get it, Lucy. Lana. Get it. Lana. <laughs> Lucy. Lana! <laughs> what? <laughs> danger, danger zone. zone. Thank you, Danger Mate. First time ever playing it. I have one and two and looking forward to three with online co-op. Uh, do they have a release date for three yet? Carly, can you say hello to everybody? There's your tail. Oh, Lucy gets absolutely obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Early next year? That would be cool. Yeah, we're going to shoot these things. There we go. Now this place is a little less frightening. All right, so we have three, two, one, and three basements. Uh, first of all, we should see what floor we're currently on, third floor. Let's just take it floor by floor then. Go to two. How are we doing health wise? Not great. Oh, Lucy. You silly girl.
broken. Which one is ringing then? There we go. Oh, is this the happy birthday thing? I wonder if this is a happy birthday thing. Welcome in. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. Cheers. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my. I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday, and I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? Um. To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. Yeah, this is <laughs> not cool. You're wrong. It's not my birthday. Or is it? Well, that was creepy, right? Welcome in, Coco. <laughs> no, hate this. Oh no. I do not like that. Like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Oh. What is with this place, man? Plastic bag and a health drink. Seems legit. I don't know. It seems pretty non legit. I hate those things. That's all we can do on this floor. For now. Don't know what we need the plastic bag for, but we'll probably find out.
Lucy. Calm down, dog. Yeah, she's a little too protective of that chew toy. Lucy? If you can't be nice when you have your toys, maybe they don't, uh, maybe they don't stay out. <laughs> oh, goodness, dog. Goodness me. Yeah, if you're wondering what the squeaking is, it's Lucy and uh, her toy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dead end. Yeah, I think the uh, the squeaking is making the uh, the scene more tense for me. <laughs> Doctor Midkiff, please use extra caution with patient in room three twelve. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Hmm. We look back up at three. We can't get into three twelve from where we're at. That is, how are we doing health wise? Eh, not bad. Although we could probably reload our gun. Okay, that one's locked. So we need a game plan here. We should see if those are unlocked across the hallway. But we've got fiends. still something up here. So if I run out of bullets later in this section, this save, this last save, would be a good one to, uh, to redo. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Ugh. Who wrote this? I'm gonna ask him, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah, Leonard. else on this floor nope oh kitchen we didn't check the kitchen
Okay. So basement it is. This game is so frightening, man. Just the sound design makes it so much worse than it needs to be. Ooh, basement three. Who had basement three on the bingo card? B3. Bingo. Okay, we've got numbers. Ugh. Okay, so that's a seven. And we have two, six, and zero. Oh, uh, what's his name of seven? Um, when he said on the phone that the one dude was seven. Any type of clue here? Wait a second. There's a two, a three, a one, and a four. So the one in the bottom left, and then a two, three, and four. I doubt it's just something as simple as two, three, four. And then one. Oh, wait, so this is must correspond to the beds, right? So there's one down in the corner and then four on the opposite side. So that's going to give me so there's one. So two, okay, I might have to break out a notepad for this, nine and five. So here we have a one, three, seven. So two's in the wrong place. So that's a two and not a four. And then we have six and zero. We have eight, four, and nine, five. Let's see here. Eight, four, nine, five. Or was it the other way around? It was one, three, seven. These are blank. So we need like four numbers across then to make it what we need. I can't push these, I don't think. <laughs> Eight, four. So the only one where we have four across is the six, five, four, Three. No, 
Okay. I doubt it's three, four, five, six. Unless it's something to do with seven. Okay, so we have seven, eight, nine, zero. Zero seven nine eight. Seven eight nine zero. Seven nine oh eight. Oh no, I'm I'm totally woolly brain this, right? Um so seven is the first number, and then two uh six zero, seven two six zero. Totally woolly brain that. Seven two six and zero. Yes. <laughs> totally woolly brain that thing. It was telling me the order, and I just needed to pick it correctly. Okay, I think I had a safe spot on the first floor, so let's go back there. And I need to find where this cremated key takes me. I think Roxy's up here. Let me uh let me grab Roxy real quick. There we go. Found Roxy. And I uh, removed the point of contention with Lucy. So that way she's not uh, driving the other dogs away from the beds. Lucy gets a little too territorial around her chew toys. So sometimes, kids, if we can't play nice, our toys get put away. I know. I know. It's sad. It's sad for puppy dogs. All right, so I think I need the key for that day room maybe. Let's go uh let's go get our save on quick. Oh, I'm starting to loop around on save files it looks like. squishies. Wait, we can take care of her. We should probably use it all. Not to waste ammo. 
Oh, unless it's those things. Unless it's those things. See the thing on the wall says happy first birthday. I don't like how I can't see things. And that growling is very uh This is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago, somehow. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of ammo. Stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture or something in the picture? Title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the hearth, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. What's this thing over here? Can I pick that up? Okay. Can't pick any of that up. That's fine. What you doing, Charlie? What you doing, Charlie? Careful, puppy dog. kit and health drink. Several health drinks. Nice. I do not like these sounds. There's something on the ground. Is this a birthday card? Happy 38. <laughs> DJ wife. That is so not fair at all. Thank you for the malicious biddies. <laughs> why uh, thank you yeah that was rough I agree Pilgore I agree <laughs> well who else needs a change of underwear I sure do I sure do after that one phew. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. 
but it's not my birthday. Oh, that sound is just... That sound, the sound that DJ Wife played, all very abhorrent. I don't like these noises. Proceeds to make worse noises. <laughs> Take a look at what we got here. So we have this plastic bag thing, right? We have the perfume. Oh, we didn't examine the notebook. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. And another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. Have a good night, DJ Wife. Rest well. Can we get some hearts in chat for DJ Wife, please? Even though she wrecked our eardrums with that malicious bitty assault. Thank you very, very much. 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. She returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. Uh, Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alessa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. I better get some hydration. Thank you, Vis. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday. And again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter that led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh. So even now I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubts about that. 
That's all I ask you to believe to my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Oof, that is rough. That combo doesn't make sense. I like how they tell you that. This combo doesn't make sense. There's something I need to do with that altar. I just don't know what yet. Okay. So we haven't been to floor two yet, have we? But we haven't exactly been able to get there. Oh, we could through the elevator, but there wasn't much there. We haven't been to the roof. Could we use the stairs from the... We couldn't use the stairs from the third floor. So I think I'm gonna do a safety save because I don't want to experience that nastiness again. So that door looked locked. So maybe we can get through it now? Like the one with the solid red mark there? Maybe we go back this way? Yeah, this is the hardest bit of this game, is just finding your way around. OK, that's the one day room part that we've already been in. always make me feel so uneasy. Okay. We couldn't open that door. Maybe now it's, uh... Oh, no. It still shows red. I watched these two movies, um, the Silent Hill movies, last Halloween season two, and uh, I would say they're good, but they're not what you'd expect from the games, and I uh, may have had bits of the third game spoiled for, for me just from that, but uh, I don't think it was too bad. Uh, it didn't make too much sense to have as much pyramid head in, in the movies as they did. So that bit didn't make sense, but I get it. Pyramid head is recognizable, so that's why they... Okay, this is... Okay. We can 
get into that locker room across the hallway. That's where we got the nasty phone call. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Nice. All right, let's go back up to third floor. we've cleared this area out okay there was something in the examination oh maybe we need the blood uh we can put that in the plastic bag yeah yeah there's that big brain okay. about time right Wrong button. floor was it on okay first floor so we need to go back there Everything just looks so similar in these games that uh, I'm happy they finally provided a map. Oh, no, 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 no. Or that they do provide maps because... Uh... Nope. Thank you. We need to heal. I think we're okay. For the blood from the treatment room in this. I don't especially want to carry it around with me. I don't blame you. It just opens up into a pit out of nowhere. No big deal, right? NBD. It's definitely safe. Down in a hole. in control yeah this seems safe this seems nice and cozy Ugh. I guess it's time to uh, dispose of her for the salvation of all mankind. <laughs> Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. We 
It's true that God is merciful, but first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, either? What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. <laughs> I thought you were a normal person. No, he was not. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play the innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is I feel like mine. there's a boss fight coming up here. So let's get a prediction burn. going. Well, here we go. Uh, prediction is open for those that want to get rid of some channel points. Yes, if you have faith, I'll get on first try. No, if you're a realist, you've been here before. You know what to expect. Feel free to cast your votes in the prediction there. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of that while the prediction kind of rounds out here. <laughs> Need just a moment to kind of collect. And yes, we finally get Charlie on camera. Finally got Charlie on tonight. Only took, what, three hours in a stream? one person in the prediction. That's all right. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll just say this. Hopefully you don't get your points back. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this goes here. We'll see how this goes here. Back into the horror. Oh boy. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. I do not like this. Okay, it looks like... We need to get him to pop up down here. Maybe get sucked into this thing. Probably did not do us too good. Yeah, we should probably use a health item. Yeah, 
and maybe reload our shotgun. Yeah, Leonard is uh, really let himself go. Oh, the moaning is awful. Maybe we should uh, put the pistol. Are we down on uh, pistol ammo that far? Holy cow. Dang. All right. get into using that ammo yet, but here we are. Take that, Leonard. Oh, that's so bright. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. <sighs> I hope Douglas is okay. Oh, yeah, Douglas. I don't know why I called him Vincent uh -huh. before. Oh, we got the seal. What's this? Which is the same symbol as the save point. Talisman. Yeah, we got way down on ammo there. That is not good. I like how it was interesting in a uh, different take on, on the hospital than, uh, than Silent Hill 2, right? It wasn't exactly the same. You went to different spots of the hospital. Um, I like that. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with that thing on that second floor that was just kind of writhing in that locker, but here we are. We made it through. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. 
You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. Yeah, I continually dislike this and guy I more find and more. My happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. Oh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. Mm. I sure don't. <laughs> I definitely don't understand Claudia, okay? And these loading screens are trippy. Oh, what I need to do is resolve that prediction. Sorry about your channel points. All 10 of those channel points. <laughs> but we got it on first try, even though we wasted a ton of ammo. Maybe that's what I need to do is just go, uh, go for a stroll around Sandlet Hill here and see if I can find some extra ammo. It was difficult. I went through a ton of ammo, though, K-squared. <laughs> a ton of ammo. I'm pretty much down to, you know, no extra ammo. And it's just creepy. His breathing was, uh... Ugh. It's not, uh, not fun to listen to. I love that emote too. That's a fun one. Okay. Any ammo for me over here? A girl is running a bit low. night we already went in there before eat the dogs not in real life just in this game Is no extra ammo hiding about in these places? That's a shame. That is a right shame. Pete, where's your Bolorama at? Oh, 
thought we can't even go in there. That's a good thing. I'd I'd hate to see Eddie's butt crack again. Like the fog is worse in this one uh, than in two. Where's 106? 103, 102, 104. Okay. Five and six. Nice. Where's Douglas? He went out, but he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just Man, me. This song. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. I do Probably not want to go way through there. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. But closer than heaven. <laughs> But closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Wow. That helps. Thanks. Douglas really said that? Mm, What's wrong? Doubt it. You don't trust me? No. <laughs> of course we don't. Can I go back in there and save my game? We're gonna rock down to Nathan Avenue. And then take me higher. We're gonna rock down to Nathan Avenue. And then take you higher. is just unavailable. Uh, the music in 2 was just amazing, K-squared, so I'm, I'm not disappointed by this one. This one's a bit more ambient than 2 was. And I have been learning bits of uh, the promise uh, reprise from 2 on the keyboard or piano. I can get bits of each hand, but I can't put the two together. <laughs> There's something about playing a, a piece of music uh, two-handed on the piano that just makes my brain just freeze. But it, it's been fun. It's really good exercise, especially for like... Um, the thing I struggle with too is uh, independence on fingers as well. 
because when I bend my ring finger, my pinky wants to bend too. So getting those to act independently is, is difficult. So this is basically where we were at at the start of the game. And then she woke up. Welcome back to it. This looks familiar. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? I don't want to look inside. Something in there smells terrible. Yep. And that explains why at the very beginning there were like dogs and those things. In there. This is late game. Please tell me there's a save point in here. In this place like this, it's more creepy than it is cute. I agree. <laughs> oh, don't like that. Here's my save point. Ask and thou shalt receive. Sweet. I do have to work tomorrow, so I am afraid I'm gonna have to leave it there even though I started stream late. Uh, thank you to those that were understanding of that. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more Silent Hill 3 next week. Oh, uh, let's get the key first and then we'll save. Jared, you just got here. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. This uh, staying up late stuff uh, doesn't work too well with having to work in the morning. <laughs> That's all right. We can pick up next week. We can pick up next week. Well, you keep saying that, Jared, but then you keep forgetting. <laughs> and that's what I appreciate. That's what I appreciate. Okay. And K squared, if you didn't see back there, that is the uh, vinyl of uh, the Silent Hill 3 soundtrack back there. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. Actually, this song is a jam, though. This song is a total jam. You mean it this time, Jared? Are you sure? Let's see who we can raid out to. We have two choices. We have Chad Music playing some Resident Evil 2 um, on the PS1. Or uh, Jess Capricorn playing uh, Bloodborne Randomizer. this song rocks. I love that song. <laughs> so we can go to uh, those two places, I think. Otherwise, what is Happy Duty playing? He's playing Chrono Trigger. We go there as well. So Bloodborne Randomizer, um, OG Resident Evil 2, or Chrono Trigger. 
What do you guys want to see? And while you're uh, deciding, I need to give some shout outs to, uh, we had a lot of raids tonight. So um, definitely gonna give those creators some uh, some shout outs. Uh, Bun, thank you for the first raid of the evening. Uh, followed by Melly and your mother is a fish. And of course, uh, our good friend, uh, Romo dude. If you see uh, any of these fine folks uh, live on Twitch, go say hello. Because they were, they were kind enough to share their communities with us. So uh, please uh, return the favor if you're, if you're able to. Also, a uh, huge thank you to Misty for the biddies. Uh, Hobo Baggins for the gifted sub to Melly. Um, Sandy Coco with the resub at seven months. And of course, uh, Danger May, the resub at 27 heckin' months. My lord. Thank you very, very, very much. It means a whole heckin' lot. And we'll be back on Twitch next Monday with uh, some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. Also uh, next week with some more Silent Hill 3. And Friday morning, we'll be over on, on the YouTube side of things uh, doing some uh, Final Fantasy 16. Have you played any of that yet, Jared? Some Final Fantasy 16? It's really good so far. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. And I might even have to start waking up. <laughs> like half an hour early, an hour earlier, so I can play some more of it uh, on Fridays because it's just so good. It is just so heckin' good. All right, seeing, uh seeing no uh choices on game let's let's go say hello to chad music chad also is a total chad and uh rocks out guitar solos for raids and stuff like that so if you have your dancing emotes ready uh let's definitely head over there i'm just gonna give him a quick shout out in case you get lost in the raid you know where to find us over at chad music oh charlie yeah, I need some sleepies too, dude. I need some sleepies too, little guy. With that, my friends, we'll kick this raid off and just uh, take care of yourselves, okay? Stay hydrated. Uh, don't stay up too late playing Silent Hill 3. Um, take care of each other, okay? A uh, little kindness goes a long, long way. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Twitch on Monday with Resident Evil 4 Remake. Grab some of the raid messages there if you can. First one for subs, second one for non-subs. And we'll see you over on YouTube Friday morning, bright and early with some Final Fantasy 16. So please, please take care. Uh, enjoy the spooky season. Watch as many scary movies as you can. Well, if you like them, that is. And uh, we'll see you next time. Prost. Cheers. Cheers.